Next Wave DV's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and I'm here with Jeremy from Atomus. How you doing, man? Doing very good. How are you doing? Good. Now, Jeremy, there's so many new cameras coming out uh, for digital filmmakers, yes. the AF100, the FS100. Uh, these are only allowing up to a uh, AVC HD codec, yes. which kind of limits some of the abilities of filmmakers. Now, you guys have a solution for that. Yeah, we do. We've got, uh, we've got two solutions. First one is the Ninja, which is a HDMI-only recorder. The second one is the Samurai, which is a SDI HD SDI and SD SDI recorder and we've got a couple of really cool features that, uh, that we believe really integrate recording, monitoring and playing back on the screen and then going directly from disc into your Final Cut, Avid or, Pro, or uh, Premiere from Apple ProRes, we work on other codecs as well but we have a working shipping unit that is we believe way ahead of our competition and we'd, we'd love to show you what it, what, what it does. Absolutely. So he, here we have the Ninja. And as you can see, I'm coming directly out of this beautiful FS100. I mean, this thing is an amazing piece of machinery. It's got a 35 mil sensor, and what we're doing is taking lens, sensor, that beautiful image, straight out of H HDMI, directly into the Ninja, and we're recording directly to one of three flavors of ProRes. We've got ProRes HQ, I think everyone knows it's 220 megabits a second. So it's six to one compression from uncompressed. And why it's important to go to uh, an intermediate editing codec is because the applications are tuned for those codecs, the hard disk can perform with those codecs, and the CPUs find it very easy to, to play with those codecs. So we, I'm gonna do HQ here. We've got two hours, 16 minutes of HQ recording on a Western Digital 250 gigabyte drive. I'm gonna pop that drive out just to show you, I'm not lying here. That's a Western Digital straight from Fry's, $40. Now no one else is recording to hard disk. We've cracked that nut. And that's technology we're going to keep very close to our chest. The important part about this solution is the battery solution. No one else has battery on board, let alone a dual battery system that's hot swappable and a looping battery system that allows you to continuously record forever. So we call it continuous non-stop power. I click on the battery, everything's one touch away. I've got two batteries here. So this one, it's almost at the end of its life. You can see it's only got a quarter left. When that finishes, it'll flick automatically while I'm recording to the other side, and then I can take that battery off. I'm gonna go and hit record just so you can see what I'm doing here, so you, I can prove that, that this is a robust solution. So I've just flicked that across. Now I need to take this battery off. This is, I've got Sony MP570 batteries. You can use 770s or 970s. We've gone ahead and put in the highest capacity 18650 cells, which are the same batteries that Sony used. They're from the same supplier. We've, We've put them into a, a package that 2,600 milliamp hours. This gives you three hours to five hours, depending on how you use the device. If you're in monitor mode and HQ, then you're going to get three hours out of it. If you're in LT and you're not monitoring, then you're going to get five plus. But, so that's two batteries on there, six to ten hours, depending on what you're doing. But it gets better. If I put that back on, if I go back, I'm still recording on one battery, right? So if I click back and put this battery back on, even if I take off the wrong battery, it automatically flicks across to the other side and I'm still recording. So I can be drunk and still get this thing right. Okay, so let's go back. We're still recording. I can monitor what I'm recording. I can zoom in, adjust the focus. So this is a, a confidence monitor at the same time. You can see I'm recording, my time code's there. I've got audio coming in straight from the camera. HDMI. I've also got analog audio, which I can turn on and off. I've got a headphone out. I've got length controls in and out, so I can trigger from the camera as well as just on the device. Or I can hit record on the screen, as, as you saw me do. It's a touchscreen interface. This is a pressure-sensitive touchscreen, so you can use gloves, or you can hit it with a stick, and, and it's going to record. Okay, I want to check what I've got, because I don't have my laptop with me. It's just a standard hard disk, so I can easily pull it out. So I want to go ahead and play back what I've got. The last take that I did was take six, so that's what we just did. If I click on that, now this is a, a half-res software playback. 
by the end of next week, we'll be finished the full res playback. We didn't quite finish it before the show, but you can guarantee that it's, I'll show you how to update the unit. Very simple, pop in the drive, turn on the Ninja, 30 seconds later, it's updated. So I hit play, and I can see that that's exactly what we, is that what I recorded, Anthony? Looks, that's exactly what you recorded. So you're pretty happy to, to say that we recorded it? It looks you're good You're confident, to me. right? Yes. So you hit stop, go back, I'm gonna rip out the drive. No, no eject required. You're not gonna lose your footage. Come over here. Here's my dock. I've got Firewire 800, USB 2 and 3. I'm going to plug my dock, my drive into the dock, plug it into the Mac. The Ninja drive is going to pop up in the corner here. I'm going to hit start on Final Cut. You see that? There it is. And there's my ProRes, pristine quality, playing back on the screen. Let me, let me prove that to you. Is that not pretty coming from that camera? That is gorgeous quality right there. You like it? I do. Now let's check. Let's just make sure the Atomus people actually say what they mean. Item properties. What format are we in? Tell me what that is, Tony. That is Apple ProRes 422HQ. That's the best demo you will see of the fastest workflow. Saves you time, saves you money. Gives you better recording from your camera with compression. And don't forget, this isn't just new cameras. Your Z5s, your Z7, you're using a Canon HD XA10 there. That will go to ProRes also. So it's about the lens and the sensor, not about the compression inside the camera. And now it's a level playing field. You can use that camera that's one tenth the price of anything that records decent quality out there. That's with HDMI. Samurai is with SDI. And what do you get in the box? So I get the Ninja or the Samurai. I get two Master Caddies. You go down to Fry's or Best Buy and, or wherever you want to buy them and you grab your discs, spinning discs or SSDs, Intel only SSDs. <coughs> There's a list on our website, Western Digital, Hitachi, Toshiba. Go buy the drives you want. You get the dock with all the cables included. You get the charger. You get two batteries, which I'm using on the Ninja right now. and you get this rugged portable carry case. It passed the Jeremy jump test. That's how I chose the right one, put the Ninja inside and jump, I broke a few. No, I didn't. So that's what you get. You get the Ninja, 995. You get the Samurai for 1495. You get everything included. And we want everyone to be recording in this kind of quality. That's fantastic. It's great to see that you can just rely on the sensor of your camera and image quality that's there and allow a great device like this to take care of the rest for you. Thanks a lot, Tony. Thank you for your time. Cheers. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.